Hi, I'm Mathieu Drula. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to upload files to Amazon S3 with Angular 2 and Webpack. But before jumping to our keyboards, let's have a small introduction. On the left, we have Webpack, which is a module bundle. Webpack will take your modules with dependencies and generate static assets representing those modules. And Webpack will do tasks like loading and transforming your files automatically once configured. On the right, we have Angular 2, the evolution of AngularJS, the leading front-end framework created by Google that revolutionized web development with its double-way data binding. Finally, we're going to use Amazon S3 in order to upload our files into the cloud. In order to kickstart our project, we're going to use a seed project. All you need to do is to do a git clone of this GitHub repository into a new folder called project, for example. By doing that, you will just copy a new folder which has Webpack and Angular 2 pre-configured just for you. After that, we switch to project. Then we install our node modules. Then we install our AWS SDK package. And finally, we launch our server with npm start. And with all of that, we got our environment set and we're ready to start coding. Let's go to arm.component.html. Here, we're going to create an input type file. We're going to listen for the changes. We're going to trigger a method called file event. We'll pass it dollar event. And that's it. Very simple. Then we go to arm.component.ts. Here, we're going to require our library aws sdk slash dist slash aws sdk the reason why we are getting the dist is because aws isn't webpack friendly so in the dist we get a big object which contains everything and this object will be put into window then we're going to create our file event method We'll create it with file input here of type any. Now we're going to get our AWS service. We get it from window.aws here. As you can see, it's saying that the property AWS doesn't exist on type window, which is normal because AWS hasn't been loaded yet. So many ways to handle that. The first one is to transform window to a type any. We're going to log our AWS service here. Reload. We're going to upload a file here. And we got our service here. What we are interested in is the S3 here. Another way to make it more generic for your application is to go to index.d.ts in typings and to create an interface here. We'll name it window and we will say that if you meet AWS, no need to worry about it is just of type any. Then we go back to home.components.ts. We can just upload another file just to be sure that everything is good. Yes, we got our object here. Now we're going to get our file that we want to upload from file input dot target dot files of zero. After that, we're going to configure our AWS service. We're going to start with our access key ID. 
I got mine here. Access key ID. Copy past. After that, we are going to configure our secret access key. Here. Here we go. Copy past. And that's it for configuration. We're going to create a bucket from our AWS service dot S3. We're going to pass some params for this bucket, which is going to be bucket, and the name of the bucket. Here is going to be plural site angular two. Here we go. And we close everything. Perfect. We're going to create params here for our file. We're going to have a key. For the key, we are going to take file.name. We're going to have a body here. We're going to pass file. Finally, we can just do a bucket dot upload. We're going to use the params. We're going to pass a function, which will take error and res. Here we go. In this, we're going to do just a console.log of error, just to be sure. Here we go. And we're going to log the response from the server here. Response. We go back to our application. Reload. We upload our file. Here we go. And as you can see, there is no error. And we got the response from the server. We got the location here, the keys, and the bucket name. And voila! You just learned how to upload files with Angular 2, Webpack, and AWS S3. Let's sum up what we have just done. First of all, we installed our environment by cloning an Angular 2 Webpack seed project from GitHub. After that, we created an HTML template with just a simple input tag file. Then we imported AWS from the dist folder. After that, we handled some minor typing issues. We configured our AWS service, like setting the access key ID with secret access key. Also some configuration params for a file, like the key and the body. Then we created a bucket. This bucket had some params, like the bucket name. And finally, we successfully uploaded our file to AWS S3. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you will be watching my next videos.